Hi, this is Lindsay, and welcome back to my channel. I have two traveler's notebooks to share with you today. These um, are almost naked. There's not too much on the inside. Well, this one is naked on the inside, and this one has just a little bit, but um, I just felt like making some traveler's notebooks. So the first one I'm going to show you is this one, and it's called She Dreamed Beautiful Dreams. That's a Tim Holtz sentiment, and this was a butterfly. I cut out some scrapbook paper, and I used some um, glitter gel pens on it. And then I just kind of, I don't know what I did. I made this whole little trail of leaves and flowers and just kind of like these are her dreams growing and planting. And there's rhinestones and leaves and flowers and yeah, all of that on there. And if you look at the stitching around it, it's a really neat kind of leaf and geometric kind of almost flower pattern. And the closure is tied on the back. It wraps around and tucks in the front. So on the inside, we have just some various papers. This is, there's a stencil with some glimmer mist on that. Here's some pretty flower and leaf stitching. And um, these are like pocket pages. There's giant tags. Whoop, can't see, can you? <laughs> this is a sticker. It's a double-sided tag that slips in the top, and of course, you can um, put a picture on that or journal. Or I'm at an awkward angle. I'm still here. I just went off screen for a second. I'm at an awkward angle. Sorry about that for filming. All right, and then so we got book page here, and then I I used some texture paste and acrylic gold ink and did this butterfly on the coffee dyed paper. And another one here with some pink glimmer mist and texture paste. Lots of glimmer mist. Here's some butterfly stitching that I thought was really pretty. And then this is a pretty tight fit, but these are giant tags. And there's a butterfly sewn on there. So that's a pretty tight fit, but it does go in there. It's just between the stitching and the edge. So you definitely have room to put a big picture. I'll put that back in later. Okay, so here is some, um, I think it's physics or calculus. <laughs> Not good with math. Some, I just did stamping on there. This is really pretty paper and I believe this is from 12 papers and I did an Etsy archeology span on that. And then on I backed it with these little um, I think they're vintage. I didn't see a year on them, but these little planner pages and, but they could be any year. And then there's a little texture paste butterfly and glimmer mist there. There's the middle of this, of the booklet. And then we just have the other side of everything. And again, another giant tag that looks just like this one. It's a tight fit, so I won't struggle with it. And another little thinner tag that looks just like the other one, but with a different flower on it, if you can see that. And that's the end of that one. So it's mostly naked, but I just kind of embellished the papers and added some tags and, and all that. So this is really for journaling. And then this one is definitely for journaling. And I love this paper. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And there's leaves stitched all around it in brown thread. And then um, this image is from Bridget Marsh. I had done a um, design, guest design team project for her months ago and I had some paper still printed out. So I used part of this. There's a purple doily behind it and a Tim Holtz, it says, all the world is bright. And then there's some buttons sewn on there. So inside we have this pretty pink marbled paper. And then it's just um, 40 pages of coffee dyed paper for journaling. They're, you know, really interesting, but pretty much journaling. Nothing gets in your way, or you can collage and make it into your own um, junk journal, however you would like. So these are the two that I have completed, and they're up in my Etsy shop, so you can click the link below. Have a wonderful day.